Okay, let's meditate for a few minutes. Hainam Pawana Sapaknang. Focus on the breath and then remember to stay here. It's the remembering that's important. Anybody can focus on the breath, at least for a little while. But it's when you remember, okay, there's work to be done and you have a sense of what needs to be done, what's skillful, what's not skillful. In other words, all the important lessons we learn from the Dharma, you boil them down into just that one question, what's skillful right now, what's not skillful. If it's not skillful, you let it go. If it's skillful, you try to develop it. Always keep that in mind. If you're just here in the present moment, present moment, you tend to lose touch with everything. You especially you lose touch of a sense of your actions have consequences. And what you do right now is not going to be just for right now, but it's going to have implications on into the future. You want to be careful about that. And those implications don't involve just you, but they involve all the people around you. So you have to be very careful to look after yourself right now. And that's what mindfulness is there for, is to remind you this is what needs to be done. This is the wise thing to do. This is the compassionate thing to do. Because a lot of times we have a resistance to the word should, but remember the Buddha's shoulds come from his compassion. He found true happiness, he wants everyone else to find true happiness. And these shoulds are based on that principle, that if you really follow these instructions, you really are mindful of these things and act on them, then they really will lead to your true happiness. And that's the kind of should that you want to keep in mind all the time, because it is for your own best interests, and it's also for the best interests of others. Because if you can find true happiness inside, you're not going to impose any burdens on other people if the happiness is genuine. So when you're looking after yourself, you're helping to look after others. As the Buddha said, like with the acrobats, you maintain your sense of balance, the other person finds it easier to maintain his or her sense of balance. That way both can perform their tricks and come down safely from the pole. In the same way, you want to maintain your sense of balance, and this mindfulness reminds you that this is what balance is. It gives you the warning signals, and when, you're act, when your behavior is getting out of balance, you, mindfulness is there to let you know. To try to strengthen your mindfulness, your ability to keep things in mind, and learn how to apply it as much as you can. Because it's mindfulness that saves you from a lot of suffering, if you listen to it. And if it's there, this is, we have to develop it for it to stay there, because it's so easy for the mind to forget. So do your best to keep remembering that this is what needs to be done right now, right now. You're going to stay with the breath right now. Whatever is skillful, you're going to do it as you can. That's how mindfulness is protection. 